I think this is as much control I'm going to have over this right now as I am over the next half of an hour, just based on the pregame, Bill, that yeah. I just experienced. You know, we're, that's the reason why I didn't have time to post <laughs> into Facebook. It was I remember when my boys were little, going, "Get, get out of that! You can't touch that! Don't, don't! You can't do that!" And I, that was like the five minutes before the show started. That was what that was like. That's right. Well, the the world is worried about the writers going on strike. Yes. The writers get, but we have Comedy Central here today. We seem to without the writers. <laughs> it's a, we don't need them when we have folks like Alan, Jim, and Gary. So it's a, uh, they're. The funny guys. Indeed. The uh, guests on the program in this first segment, County Commission President Jim Whitaker. Whit, good to see you again. Good morning, everyone. And uh, also Deputy Administrator Gary Wine, soon to be Administrator. Good Good morning, morning, Gary. Good morning. And soon to be retired Administrator, Alan Davis. Alan, good morning to you. Good morning. You have how much to go now? Two months? Um, One month? Two months. Two months. You have to come into that microphone there. Two months. There you go. But if if you listen to Bill, I've been retired for five years, so, (laughs) Uh, you know. I said at least five. (laughs) I'm actually surprised he can remember back that far. (laughs) (laughs) And there there it goes. (laughs) It's all all gone. (laughs) It started as soon as 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 they walked in the door. I was going to say, I think Gary and I will just Just sit here (laughs) and then we'll let those two go. This was a, it was a, Friars Club roast yeah. in the five minutes leading up to the first uh, mic crack here. So I, I anticipate this will just continue down that, that path there as we go along. Uh, and the uh, re- reason we invited all three of you guys in is obviously the uh, selection of Gary as the new uh, administrator. Uh, Alan, he's been your deputy for the last, what, three years now? Yes, sir. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's talk about the selection process and whether or not you had a say in it or any of that. Um, I, I, did, I absolutely did not have a hand in, in the, the selection. Um, I'm a firm believer that um, an incumbent should not um, have a, a, a say in, in uh, selecting their replacement. Um, we did that with our department heads. We had some long-term department heads that, that left uh, over the past you know, several years, and, and they were not involved in, in uh, their replacement. And, and I told the council early on, that I would post the recruitment, and at that point I would step I would step uh, aside because, you know, when I leave, it's you know this person's going to work at you, know, you work at the pleasure of the council, um, so it was it was important that they they make the selection. So I think they did a very very good job. Jim, let's talk about the criteria that you're looking for and why Gary ended up being the selection. Well, we think. But we had 24 responses and uh, applications for his position uh, after um, Eddie and uh, and the other council members kind of went through them as, uh, and looked at them. Yeah, I applied 22 times, by you the way, so, was, so most of that. And, yeah. and, twenty, and twice by Bill. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so those are the 24. Yeah, so, I, I, what are you doing, trying to play Alan Davis all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. I just Rob, uh, unfortunately, yeah. used Bill as a reference. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's three references yeah. I put: yeah. Bill, Bonnie, yeah. Stubble, yeah. Bill Stubble. Yeah. yeah. But you I, were I, 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 I really don't think there's any more I can say at this point. So uh, the the decision was uh, was was pretty unanimous. Well, it was unanimous, mm-hmm. and it was uh, it was an easy choice. Now, if if you use my dog's name for a reference, that might have carried <laughs> it. It, it, yeah. Pro- yeah. it probably would have. Yeah. If I knew your dog's name, I would have used it. Tess. And I can tell you. You it's know Tess. it's Tess. Yeah, it's Very nice. Yeah, we asked two of them that are two of them. And Gary, uh, well, first one. question is, uh, you were IT director, deputy administrator. This would seem like a natural progression. I assume that uh, uh, from when, you, when you knew the job was open, I assume there was no doubt in your mind that you wanted it. No, there there wasn't. Um, I, I, I carry the most important criteria. I'll leave you to judge. You set both of us in front of that camera to show the world we don't have any hair, so it's it's a prerequisite. Um, you know, and, and mine was brown before. Was, I, yeah, so there you go, no, I, Rob. There wasn't. Um, I, I told the council during the interview process. You know, I started over here as a contractor in 1998, uh, and it did not take long 
and I'm, I'm, I'm a lifelong West Virginia resident. I've never lived, educated in West Virginia, so on and so forth. So when I got over here and started to interact with these folks, and I'm from north central West Virginia, uh, it became home almost immediately. So when I had the opportunity in 2007 to actually be an employee and be part of the inner circle family here, it was a no-brainer. Matter of fact, Mr. Stubblefield was one of the county commissioners at that time that, that interviewed me then and hired me. So I feel like it was natural to me. Billy? Well, yeah, and uh, Gary – Gary was very active uh, even before we hired him. He was a contractor. And let the truth be known, I had some reservation. I My reservation was not your caliber. It was a due process. And I, the other two county commissioners had worked with you much longer than I had, and they knew you. I wanted to go kind of due process, let's do a national search or at least a regional search. And they kept saying, nope. We have the best guy we can possibly have. Let's go ahead. And they were right. They were exactly right. So, but uh, now, Gary, Bill doesn't often admit he's wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you right now. That's, that's but, big. What you just got right. But, but let uh, me go. Going back to the search process, uh, Jim, you and your colleagues did it exactly right. You did a search and you looked at the candidates. But I doubt if rarely any selecting group had an easier choice to make than Alan with his skills, Gary coming on that in so many ways mimics Alan's skills. They're they're both they both get the job done to get the job done well. And uh, so I think it's a uh, we've had a good what t- 12 years, 14 years with you. At the I've table. been here almost 18. But but not as uh, No, not as administrator. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then uh, and then so great years through you and now we have someone with gary's capability coming in i think the county is in wonderful wonderful position gary let's talk about uh some of the challenges that you'll face taking over for alan well let's first and foremost you know and bill just said it you know there is a bar set gentlemen and he just mentioned he's done the job for 14 years so uh for me it, it isn't something that I take lightly to try and fill Alan Davis's shoes. I take that very personal. He's done a great job. But right now, um, as we sit here today, the county council's in the middle of about $36 million worth of new construction projects on their campus, um, not to mention the continual growth and the demand on public safety. There's a lot of things in front of us. Uh, they're, they're inundated with requests almost every day. Can you tell us some of the requests that you'll be dealing with? Well, you heard, you just heard, and there's a memo floating around today, that the school board just approved funding for three new uh, resource officers for their schools. Now, there's some statements going on about are they all three in the county, maybe one in the city. So just, just school safety is big, that, and that's the constitutional issue of the sheriff, but it comes back to the county council for funding. And I think that's the thing. Any and everything you hear with regard to services in the county, the county council is the fiscal body. So they're the ones tasked to try and find the funds, appropriate the funds, and support the effort. So um, on all arms, on, on every one of them, they support that. One of the great things about the county is how transparent it is. And you do do a good job. Of, everything is available for the public through a lot of venues. One thing that surfaced recently was the 911 contract. Gary, I know you well enough uh, that you are very, you do your homework, you do your investigation, you look at all aspects of it. You also do not spend money casually you are very thorough yet this contract that you awarded was about one million dollars more than the other two would you give us the rationale and the reason for that particular contract award gladly so um the county council embarked on what is next generation 911 back in october we wrote a set of specifications and published them for vendors across the country of all of the ones that play in that market there were three that responded uh they all responded met the the clarifications and answered all the questions on the contract. But in the end, uh, even though we recommended what looks to be a number a million dollars higher, it is our whole and sole belief that that is not fact. Uh, I believe that at the end of the five-year contract, when you look at it, it will be close to apples to apples from a money standpoint. Um, You are correct. I do take it very serious. It's not my decision. It's the county council's decision and just me presenting. So when I said to them in there was we were recommending the vendor that we felt would would service us in the way we want to do it the best, uh, it's because the models of the other two aren't as transparent as the ones selected. So 
end result, my opinion, at the end of five years, all five would have been about where that number was. Let me. Can I interpret that, Gary? You tell me if I have it correct or or don't. And so, thirty years ago, actually more now, I had a job uh, in the computer industry in sales, and the company I worked for would bundle all their services up front and tell you on day one, this is what it's going to cost you over the next five years. Oftentimes, the people I was competing against did not include those charges up front for everybody to see, and instead you got piecemealed and nickel and dimed over the course of your contract. So at the end, we would tell you, you're going to pay probably more than what I'm front-loading all this stuff with for you right now that you can see that you're going to get with services. Uh, and some people would say, well, no, they're $10,000 cheaper. I got to go with them and then come back to me a couple years later and say, I should have listened to you. Is that what you're telling me that you're looking at this contract as? That's exactly what it is. So deciphering what's on the piece of paper, talking to the vendors that have those particular contracts with those other vendors, um, that is it. I'm not here in front of this microphone or in front of the county council to say or judge the way either the other two vendors do their business. I'm responsible for recommending to the county council what I believe is the best expense possible at the most valuable price. And the net at the total of those five years, I believe, would probably be equal or more in some other cases it's not face value and 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 i want to point out that you know recommendations and decisions like this aren't made in a vacuum i mean it wasn't gary's decision solely to make um he worked with with jen swisher our uh, emergency communications director um they interviewed uh, all the candidates they did their due diligence um they went to see the actual uh, comparable systems that are in place with other with other municipalities and counties and then before he made the recommendation to the council he and i sat down and we went we went through it because i had the same concern um and you know i'm absolutely supported supportive of, of gary's decision and the recommendation to the council and the council's decision um but it we never we never you know bill talked about transparency we, we we don't do, as Bill as you know we don't do any we don't do backdoor deals. That's right. Uh, if we can't support it, um, you know we, we 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 won't take it to the council because we know at the end of the day, it's the council's responsibility and they're they're the ones that are going to be held accountable. And, and our job, and I and I've said this for many 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 years, um, the the job of of the the county administrator and the deputy county administrator is is to keep the council out of trouble despite their best efforts. Um, <laughs> My and, job with Bill. I'm yeah, the yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and that job has gotten easier over the years. <laughs> not not for me. Thanks, Alan. Sure. <laughs> you know, but, but what, think, what uh, Rob has you did not have is a mute button. Is that, yeah, <laughs> I would, Rob uses it quite a bit. Yeah, I wish I would have had that. <laughs> but would enough. it have worked as well? Would would not have no gary you know, what, what I, were your... I had duct tape but he wouldn't hold still long enough <laughs> you just, well that's why you had to hire a yeah, deputy that's, administrator that's exactly, that's exactly right. what will your it responsibilities be as deputy administrator so much less than they are now so it is a department by itself that has a manager a role for subordinates and and we have an i have an it manager now that reports to me um he is understood his name's chase weinbrenner uh and he is really developing so as we go through this process of change, we'll see how it all transpires. Um, IT runs in my blood, man. I've done it for 30 couple years, so I would love to let go completely, And but we'll see. We'll see. Baby steps. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's going to be difficult for you to let go of that. Like Alan retiring. Yeah. He's like, you know, I don't know. I'm like, how do I know? Ugh. You know, and, and, and this county is so fortunate, and, and Bill can attest to this because he's still, he's still engaged, and he knows many of our department heads. Um, we we are so blessed. The county's so blessed to have the the profession professionals that 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 we have. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking over your shoulder, Jim. Um, <laughs> I was hoping so because um, I, I just uh, I was just lucky enough to get the most votes. So you know our, our you know our our job is you know to to you know surround yourself with the best possible people and then get out of their way. And, and the job as, as county administrator is, um, you know, to, to be that liaison between the county council and the department heads. Um, and and it, 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 you know, I, I, have no, I have no doubt in my mind that 
you know, Gary or I, either one could could step aside for for a while, and and we have the professionals in place that 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 will run the, the run the county. But the unstated question is, who's going to manage Penny Sewell now that you're not here? Oh, Alan. <laughs> yeah. from Drury Lane yeah yeah um it's going to be his responsibility uh, to call in yeah uh, <laughs> that's a kind of an inside county joke if you know Penny you know that she's uh, the heart and soul of the county uh she also uh, is the only one that can get Alan to do the job the way it should be done right so. Yeah, every once in a while she has to call, 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 call me down. So, if I could, Bill, yeah. back to your your question on the nine one one contract. And Alan mentioned our our nine one one director, but there are actually three other nine one one directors on the committee from around the state that helped us look okay. at it. Yeah. Um, I didn't mention that by name because they didn't they weren't influential in actually making the decision to help us digest yeah. the information. Uh, but but truly, what on the surface what looks to be a seven figure difference in my honest opinion and, and we'll find out in five years and i hope i'm not wrong it, it's not that at all yeah well i know how thorough you are uh in looking at all aspects of the problem and we have we're gifted in the county or we're very fortunate in the county to have someone that has the experience and the technical experience what gary does he also has the operational side so he knows what what needs to be done to handle 911 and he knows what what has been proposed to address it so in studio with us right now the uh, commission president jim whitaker and the deputy administrator gary wine soon to be promoted to county administrator that is uh, currently held by alan davis who is in studio as well uh let me before i preface this question i'll give you my little preamble which is i don't really care how much money you make gary or alan or Jim to do the job that you do, but some people do, and, and some of those people comment on our Facebook page, and some of them are commenting right now in regards to what the administrator makes in Berkeley County. I think I saw the press release, Gary, for your salary of $205,000. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, but there are some who aren't real thrilled with that amount of money being paid to you right now. So, Jim, let's talk about that and how the salaries are set for some of the leaders in Berkeley County, and specifically in this situation, the county administrator. Well, they're set according uh, to, to my uh, understanding is that their abilities to make sure that a $50 million a year budget is well maintained and sought after and to the penny. Um I would challenge anybody who's in a $50 million corporation to uh, ask for a salary that's, uh, that, that, they are, that they think these two guys should have. Uh, I don't believe that it would happen. Um, you, you have to understand that the, um, you, you want to run it like a business, so you have to treat it like a business. But the only thing where the, I understand the constituents have is that we don't really manufacture anything other than public safety and su and support the county residents with what they need, and and that's the price that we will we will make sure that we we accomplish. It's also not done in a vacuum. You look no. at what's been done with the city of Martinsburg or the uh, uh, counties in the the adjacent counties and the likes. So. And it and it is market market driven. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we continually look at um, you know what what Frederick County, Virginia is paying what washington county maryland's pain what jefferson county's pain um we find ourselves in a very unique situation um you know we're we're competing pretty much on a quad state level um so you know we you know Dep deputy sheriffs is a good example bill, bill and, and jim will both say you know for years and years and years and years um we had we could not compete um for for deputies um we we have made that we have made those changes um but it's only been within the past two or three or four years that we've we've really been able to get up to the to the the compensation levels that um that our public safety uh employees des deserve um and, and we're not a training ground any longer we're not sending um non-certified uh people to to the state police academy to get certified only for them to come back in a year or so later go go to 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 another to another county it's you know we've kind of turned the tide um we we want to become the employer the public employer of choice for this area 
uh, and, and, and we worked hard with this council and previous councils to make that happen. You, you get in leadership what you pay for. I think DHHR is a perfect, perfect <coughs> example of that. We were not paying the director of DHHR what we needed to pay to get the top quality person, and we see what's been the result of it. So I think one of the benefits, one of the great benefits of the county is that we recognize uh, the the what had been brought to the table by our leaders, and you compensate them accordingly. And, and there are some jobs that are not 40 hours a week, um, and this is this is one of them. I mean, you, you take— You're talking about you, more than 40 hours a week. Absolutely yeah, more exactly. than 40 yeah. hours. Yeah. And, I was you hoping know, you didn't mean you only worked about know, 20 hours yeah, a week. Yeah, <laughs> that's well, a pretty good salary yeah, for 20 yeah, hours a week. I was going to say, they, they, they both <laughs> take home their cell phones, so these guys yeah. have been 24 hours a day for us. On our commission. With Alan, Council. you need an interpreter to kind of let it, let the world know what he's saying. <laughs> well, one of the first things I had Gary show me is how to block text messages. Um, from Bill. <laughs> and that's why I haven't heard from Bill for years, you know. <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah. i got to try that. Gary, show me how <laughs> yeah. that to you. Right. Uh, what does uh, Gary not know yet that you can only know from being the guy in charge Alan, that you found out over the years? You know, Gary and I have worked together um, for, well, as long as Gary was one, probably one of the first contacts I came, uh, I had when I came with Berkeley County, because when, when I was hired and, and came on board, I had no I had no computer, I had no workstation, and they said, here, call this guy. I'm and, sure it was day and, one. And, and, I yeah, the very him. first day, and he <laughs> said, he'll take care of you. So, um, you know, I've been working with Gary since August of, of 16. Um, we we meet every every day. There's every morning. Um, it, it's very, very unusual that, you know, first thing in the, the, the start of our day that we don't sit down and go through things. So, um, you know, I, I, you know, I know what Gary's um, strong um, attributes are. I know some areas that you know he can he can work on. Um, you know the biggest thing with this position, we have over 400 full time employees. Um, you know, a uh, you know, big part of county administrators dealing with with personnel issues. Um, you know that that takes time, and I know that's something that Gary sometimes doesn't doesn't like to 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 deal with. Um, but he'll he'll. He'll be fine. He'll, you know, the budget. I'm not worried. I mean, we our, our budget will be over the county's budget next year. Not. I keep saying ours. It's not mine. Um, the county's budget next year will be over fifty million dollars. He won't have any problems managing the budget. Um, it's it's the the daily personnel issues, and you know, I've been I've been in public administration for over forty two years now, and um, there are still weeks that something happens that i i mean you, know, you, you think well you know what were they thinking yeah. <laughs> you, you know what, what 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 were they thinking you just really? can't make it up yeah you can't make it up yeah but but one of your strengths alan and uh, uh gary has the same capability i'm sure it's gonna be one of his strengths is to recognize a, a problem in its emerging stage and address it very early. You do not hear of mega problems in Berkeley County like you do in other counties. And and, and we we take pride in in that. It's you, this you know you know and I and I keep telling our departments and I even tell the council that you know it's good to be Berkeley mm -hmm. because we're very fortunate mm -hmm. that we don't have the the turmoil. Um, you know, everyone will tell you, I don't do drama. You know, we, we, no, it, no. yeah, we, we, we don't do drama and we don't have drama here. But it's not just because we're lucky. It's because that we address the problems we, very early. We, do. we also address the problem when possible, which is most of the time it is possible, in a transparent manner. Yes. Now, if you're dealing with personnel issues, obviously that cannot be transparent. Correct. But the other stuff, you are transparent. And uh, uh, Jim, if you could, as the commission president, uh, just kind of wrap up the hiring process and the <coughs> establishment of Gary Wine as the new county administrator. Well, after we went through and realized that the only candidate that uh, um, that qualified for the position was Gary, it was it was pretty easy to, to uh, come to the consensus, bring him in, and offer him the position. And we sat there and we had another interview and executive session. And um, at the end of it. We uh, we agreed upon the salary and came out and made the decision in public. So and that's when I texted you and because we had uh, uh, 
previously, mm-hmm. you know, you knew that we were on the cusp of, of hiring him or a administrator, and I let you know, and, and that's why we're here today. And you, you made the right decision, Jim. Alan, Thank you. the official handoff is June 9? Um, June 30th. June 30th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I have two more two more ones. I wasn't trying to usher you out in advance. I just <laughs> you for whatever reason June nine was. Uh, I would. I yeah, would. Yeah, Bill, you know, <laughs> Bill, as as we speak, he's having my office packed. Um, you know, I, I wondered why the U-Haul was pulling in behind us as we were leaving. But, now, and and uh, that's before I realized he was here. So I think this was all diversion. <laughs> Mo- mostly, I'm looking in your pocket, see what you're carrying with you. Yeah. <laughs> It, it could it could wind up yeah. being that Stubblefield moves in with you <laughs> instead, right. Gary. You know, I I just want to state, you know, I've been in public service now for f- over forty two years and and have been true blessed beyond my you know, anything I deserve. Um, you know, not only with my professional life but also my personal life with my with my family and my grandkids and you know, Bill knows my family and he can. Yeah. They, in fact, everybody knows my family and they can they, they they'll they'll. They'll understand what I'm saying. So, Lexi was in here the other day. She we was, yeah. 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 Alan, uh, I'm speaking for a lot of folks that have worked with you, that know you. Uh, you've done a great job. You've been a lot of fun to work with. Uh, it's not like we will not see you again because you'll be like any um, – down the line, you keep popping up at the most inappropriate times. <laughs> yeah, I'm but, not. I'm not Norwood Bentley. Don't don't get the two of us confused. But but I do. But <laughs> from my perspective, I'm speaking for a lot of people. Thanks a lot for the great job you you've done. Much. The county has benefited immensely from your leadership. It, it has been my very great yeah. pleasure, well, and this has been my this has been a job that I've loved, and um, it it was not an easy decision to leave. But well, Bill, thank you for for time. saying those words. Yeah. I, uh, I I wanted to let alan know the same thing here on the radio and everybody else that's listening i want to thank you for the leadership that you gave us in the direction that you uh, put this uh, county in and uh it's remarkable where we started or where you started and we were where we are today and i want to thank you for that assistance and and direction that you gave us thank you and gary a final thought from you I, I, I'm excited uh, for the, the next chapter, but much as Bill and Jim said for Alan, you know, it, we, it would not have been this easy of a decision had he not got it where it is today. So I'm ready. The county's ready. I hope Alan enjoys his retirement and his family. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Jim, thanks for setting that up for us. Sure, no problem. Anytime. Jim Whitaker, Alan Davis, and Gary Wine.